I don't want to keep making people scared running down on him, so I'll be professional about it. He seemed like a good dude. He just, he just wanted to pay that, and, and he, he wanted a chance to, 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 to become world champion, you know? So I'm going to give him an opportunity to become world champion, and um, he got to take advantage of it. He said, he said, he said he's going to give you a rematch when he beats you guys. I mean, it sounds good. I mean, he's supposed to say that. It sounds good. I'm not mad at him. You know what I'm saying? But I get, I'm giving everybody opportunity to, to, to um, become champion of the world, and no one yet has succeeded. So, I mean, I'm giving him a chance, and he got to succeed. That's it. Do you think this is a fight that will make you a household name, or do you already feel you're that? I'm a household name already. Yeah, I'm a household name. Yeah. I feel like that. I, I feel like I feel like this um this fight will solidify me even more though. I feel like it's a big fight. He, he not a pushover. No. Where, where do you think this fight will take place? Um, do you have a preparation? Like you prefer? Well, right now we shooting for Miami Super Bowl weekend. So that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. You think I'll get done? I hope it get done. I mean, I really do. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's gonna get done because at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff that go on behind the scenes of the sport, you know. And um, it gotta make in on every on, on everybody part. It gotta make sense on everybody in. What do you make of Tank calling out Devin for being bumped up world champion after the franchise tag on Lomachenko? You kind of called him out and you said yeah, I called him out. The same thing happened with you in the WBA title. I, I, I was on Twitter that day and somebody had retweeted it. And I had seen it, and I'm like, oh, how you going? How you going? To come at a young champion that's out here doing his thing, working hard. How you just going to try to discredit him? And, and, and I butted in, basically saying like, you wasn't, you didn't win the WBA Super um, World Champion. You for Quayar. Quayar was all for whoever don't know this. Quayar, Quayar was a 26 pounder that came up to 130. Uh, he was coming off of a loss, and he was coming off for like a year and a half layoff. He fought for the regular title. And, um, the WBA, I don't know how the hell they did it, but they downgraded um, Machado and upgraded Tank for the um, Super. So, like, you can't come in nobody. You, 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 you was handed the WBA. You know what I'm saying? So, and now he goes straight up 35 and fight for the regular um, WBA. Like, who wants to fight for the regular? Like, why not fight for the Super? That doesn't make sense. What'd you make of Canelo's performance this past Saturday? Canelo is an animal. He in peace. He in peace. Yeah. Were you surprised that he was able to knock out Kovalev? No, I, I told somebody he was going to knock him out. Yeah. yeah. Skills pay the bills, man. And I feel like Canelo got the skills to pay the bills, and he he had that, that that power. Yeah, what do you make of some of the people claiming that um, Kovalev took a, took a dive or that it was fake? So, I don't even want to talk about that. That's ignorant. Yeah. That's just ignorant. And people don't know nothing about boxing. Yeah. Um, he took a dive. Come on, man. Do you think, um, where do you think this win puts Canelo like in all-time grades in terms of Mexican, the Mexican? Um, it's sure. He got a lot of shoes to fill. Yeah.